Hi, I'm Emma and I'm the People Professional here at Clink Water Limited. Thank you, John, for applying for the role. How are you today? I'm really well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. And how's your day looking so far? Do you have a busy day ahead? Um, it's not too bad for a Monday. Come from meetings, but nothing too heavy to start the week. Great. Um, so you're here for an interview with Clinkwater for the position of sales assistant. Really excited um, meeting with you today. We're get, just going to be taking the time to assess suitability for the role um, by giving you some competency based questions um, and to have a chat uh, about you and your previous work experiences. Just to let you know, the interview um, is being recorded and we and I have to also take notes as well. Is that OK? Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Perfect. Um, so I'm going to tell you a bit about the role and then you'll have the opportunity to ask any questions, but feel free to ask any questions along the way um, if you'd like to know anything further. Um, are you ready to begin? Yep, I'm ready to start. Okay. So just to let you know a little bit more about the role. So it's um, the sales assistant role um, at our shop where we sell like um, environmentally friendly products, recycling. Um, so it would be interacting with customers, checking our stock levels, um, ensuring the shop displays are neat and tidy. Um, so can you just tell me what you know about Clean Quarter Limited, please? Sure. So from looking into your company, I see that you're a startup business who work in, as you just mentioned, producing um, eco-friendly goods. So you don't obviously want to create waste for your products. At the moment, you are in plastic free food, but you're looking to branch out into other ranges such as cleaning, laundry and so forth. Um, I also noticed that at the moment you offer an in-store only service where customers can come in and fill up containers with their food. However, you're looking to expand into the delivery world soon. Oh, wow. So you've done um, thorough research then. So that's good to hear. <laughs> um, and what made you, um, well, what attracted you to the role to apply? I guess a couple of reasons. So as you've probably seen from my CV, I work in a supermarket at the moment, specialising mm -hmm. in sales. So that is the field I would like to stay in. Um, it probably is time for my next career step in progression and I feel that moving into a new company offers that and opens up many doors but also the company values and goals that you have towards the mm -hmm. environment and wanting to introduce ways align closely with mine so I feel that those two things hand in hand make the great perfect next step for me. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so we're very proud of um, our values and the products we offer. So it's lovely to hear that you've done your research and you um, value them as well. They sort of like yeah. align with you. Um, so can you just talk me through um, your previous work experience and coming from a large um, supermarket? How do you feel? Because obviously we're a small, smaller company. So how would that sort of impact you? Um, so as you've probably seen from my CV, I've not long left education, but within that period after leaving, I've worked full time at a supermarket. My current role is stock and shelves, managing the self checkouts and the tills as well. And to be honest, just the day to day running of the store, making sure the customer service is at the level we expect it to be and making sure our customers have experience with us. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of of where what was the question <laughs> what the question oh that's okay don't, don't don't worry um it was just how you'd feel coming from a large organization to um a smaller company oh yeah um so in terms of coming from a large to a smaller company to be honest i think that would offer a great range of changes so yes the pace probably would be different but I think especially the company that's building its brand I would have to look at you know how we can maintain the customer base that we have and build on it and really trying to focus on that customer service I think it's even more important for a smaller brand who's starting up um so it wouldn't be an issue for me at all okay and that, that sounds um that's that's great thank you very much for, for your answer there so if you can just um obviously you have sort of 
just gone through um, your work experiences. But if you could just tell me about a time then when you had to deal with a difficult customer, please. Mm -hmm. um, we had one quite recently in December around the festive period. So as you can imagine, it was very busy in the build up. Um, we do set rotors and we do plan accordingly in terms of how much staff we have on and how many teals we have available based on mm -hmm. the expected um, customers we have coming in. On this particular evening, it was more than we had planned for. So it meant the queues were very long and wait times were quite lengthy too. We had one particular customer who was quite distressed. They had a child and they were there for quite a long time because of the wait. Um, and I could see that it was something we had to fix almost immediately. So I looked around and I could see that the four tills that were closed for no reason and the fact that we didn't expect to need them. So mm -hmm. I got clearance from the site manager to unlock those open them up which obviously then meant the queues went out quicker but more importantly I asked if the customer who was distressed could go first spoke to other customers as well just to let them know what was going on they're all fine with that I did help the customer pack their shopping just things like that just to make their experience a bit easier with us and they ended up saying that they felt much better than how they had done a couple minutes before which is great for us um and going forward it's something that i fed back to the store manager so that next time we plan for these big busy periods we have enough staff on hand and enough tills open so it doesn't happen again Oh, that sounds, uh, that's really intuitive of you and looking at ways to problem solve, um, keeping customer service at the forefront of your mind. Um, obviously, great for business reputation. Um, just to go back, you mentioned that you presented um, the idea to your store manager. If you could just tell me how you went about presenting that idea to him or her. Of course. Cool. So we have a biweekly survey that gets sent out to all employees. Um, and it's asked things like what went well in better if this is something I noted as an even better if uh, which got picked up by the manager and the manager then asked if I could provide a bit more context so talk them through a bit more actually what happened the situation the actions we took to resolve it and if there's anything else I could gather any more insight so it can be from the customers or it be from the staff any data like figures um, things like that that would sort of aid the argument um i then put all into pack presented this to the manager and a few other people on the management board and it was something that that, that was received quite positively and we have implemented and we're going to monitor its success so see how many customers were serving quicker and things like that well that sounds like you're constantly um forward thinking on uh, both ways for how you and the business can improve and develop um so obviously that sort of does take into account a lot of what I'm going to ask you next. Um, what are you, would you consider are your strengths? Um, I know you've outlined quite a few there, but if you if you do have any more that you can um, let me know about, or you feel you I have. think the key one, I think the key one probably would be customer service. So obviously mm -hmm. we're trained to deliver a great experience and to look out for certain signs. So spotting if someone's distressed or needs help. And I think that probably is my key skill because you want to build on that with experience and it is noticing when a customer, you know, if they want to be left alone, if they need your help, but maybe they don't want to ask for it, just mm -hmm. things like that to make sure that they have the best experience in store that they have, but respecting each customer's ways. Okay, so you, you're you quite confident um, with regards to approaching customers and dealing with all the inquiries they may have. Okay, so um, that's all the questions from me. Do you have any questions that you'd like to ask? Yes, I have a couple if there's still time. So the first mm -hmm. one would be, you mentioned this is a new store, a new role, um, and that you obviously have a lot of goals and values. Will there be training rolled out? And if so, how would that look? So you will have your onboarding programme and that will consist of training um, for health and safety, um, which is paramount obviously when you're working in a shop and with um, the public um, and obviously your, your own um, health and safety. Customer care training, um, obviously you do have that knowledge already, but we obviously that we do hold the training for that also in the onboarding programme. Um, systems of the, sorry, training of the systems that we use within the store um, and our general code of conduct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so quite a thorough training process. 
I'd like to sort of, you know, obviously your initial like to get those areas covered because they're the main points, and then any training that comes for with the role down the line, we obviously have few open opportunities for that. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, so it kind of brings me on to my next question. I mentioned earlier in the interview that I'm looking to progress in my career, and I feel this company would be a great place for that. Would you mm -hmm. mind walking me through a bit more what progression looks like? So as we are a startup company, um, obviously the team is quite small. We're taking on a sales assistant with a view to the business doing well, so we can look to expand that team. Um, as a team grows, that will um, enable us to obviously in, invite new roles within to that team, um, and we'd be looking in house for so obviously for for your progression. Um, for, so we have staff that obviously have you know the knowledge of our company um, going forward. So the progression will be as the as the team grows, as a business grows. Um, is is that appealing to you? Yeah, no, definitely. It sounds like there's a lot of opportunities within the company. So definitely seems that's something a place where I'd like to work. Hey um do you have any other questions? Just one more you mentioned again that it's a new team um and you're mm -hmm. hiring only a certain number of people do you know what that team structure looks like at the moment? Yeah so currently um the team consists of the two owning directors uh Jasper and Caroline who will be um as excited as I will be to work with you should you be successful um and as I said um, myself the people professional here at Clean Water Limited um how would you find working within a smaller team um obviously if you've worked with um in a large supermarket so your team must have been very big um how would you find coming into a smaller sort of more of a tight knit team yeah, I, I, I think that'd be fine. Um, I think it allows you to focus more on work. It also maybe allows you all to make your role your own, maybe a bit more, um, which is great. So I think it'd be a great way to be, yeah. Yes, yeah, that's really good. And do you have any other questions or anything else you'd like to know? No, you've answered everything, thank you. Um, I note from the your CV that you have a one month notice period, so that we be taken into account. Obviously, um, should you be successful with uh, the start date, um, so just want to say thank you um, so much for today. Really enjoyed meeting with you. Um, lovely hearing about all your experiences and um, your thought processes when you're at work. Um, we've had such a great interview today. Um, I will let you know by the end of the week if you have been successful. Um, so see just to let you know that that will be the sort of time scale we're looking at to let you know um, and just to wish you a lovely rest of your day and thanks once again. Thank you, I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you, take care, bye-bye. Bye.